Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video you join me again doing something on our ML270 engine. Today I've got the exhaust manifold. Now the exhaust manifold, of course, you can see the turbo bolts to this and this bolts to the head of the engine, just like that. Oof. So we've got two warped exhaust manifolds and we researched into local places. There's no one around in the Algarve area that we know of or can find, we've asked about, um, who can do this. Someone recommended a surfboard maker, but I don't think he's gonna be able to cut this sort of material. So we didn't uh, have anywhere to go. We could have gone up to the north, but yet again, it's gonna cost a fortune just to get there. So we looked up online and realized that you can actually do this. We're gonna call it the ghetto way. And uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do is find the flattest surface in this garage, and I'm going to cover that in emery paper and I'm going to sand it myself. So I could be here for a long time today, but we're gonna see. The surface that I've chosen is this bench right here. Now this bench is perfectly flat this way. You need a straight edge to find that out. I have done that. So this is a perfectly flat surface. So what I'm gonna do is double side tape some emery paper across here, and I'm going to pretty much stand here all night and I'm gonna drag it along because it'll stay flat, because the surface is flat. Basically just drag it along at different angles, just working it until, until it's flat. So fingers crossed, it's not as bad as it looked, because otherwise this could take me a while. <laughs> This has been, what is the time now? I started this at 5 p.m. and it is now 8.15. So I only stopped 10 minutes to eat my beans on toast and that was it. But I'll tell you what, it looks pretty good. So considering I've done this by hand and this was quite well warped, you can see here, but that's actually come up really well. There's a bit of really deep pitting here, so I'm just gonna give a little bit of rust converter on those, uh, then give it one last little go over, and I'm calling it a day on that, but it sits flat on the engine, so the, of course, if there is any play in it or whatever, tightening the screws down will help, and the gasket is actually two pieces of metal, which I can show you here, that you can see here, so they'll also help, see it there, there, so that'll also help jamming in the, uh, any warping, stopping anything, of course, going in or out. So in theory, this is done. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the car like this. I am very confident, actually, that it's going to work. If not, it's gonna work better than it did before. And on the ML that uh, we've got here, the manifold's warped also, so, um, and I never realized. So, of course, I'm hoping this works. It should do, there should be nothing wrong with this and it looks great. So the manifold is ready. It's got the turbo on and it's sitting right there and it's quite heavy. That's the reason I'm not holding it. And I went to the Mercedes dealer just to pick up some OEM parts because I wanted these to be, you know, proper parts. And you can see I've got the studs and these new washers. I do believe they're copper. They look like it. So I don't really know. I've never seen that before, but if they are copper, that is different. And the plan is we have five, six studs in here. We have six and there are 11 so we need to get a few more in now the way to install these i will show you so what i'll be doing is i will be getting the new stud and you can see these studs are two pieced so one screws into the head and one screws obviously goes through into the manifold now what i'm going to be using are two nuts the same size as the ones that i'll be putting on afterwards and i'm basically going to use the two nut method to install these on so the plan is to put them on like this tighten them tighten one anti-clockwise one clockwise crimp them together and then use one the top one to tighten into the head so in theory this one should push against that one stopping them from both spinning and then i can tighten them into the head that's the plan and i've got to do that for each and every one so what we'll do is we'll start off and uh Let's begin because this could take a while. So I'm gonna just grab two, two spanners the same size. These are size 13s. Gonna tighten those together, right? So that they can't spin. And now what I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of copper grease. If I could open the pot. Get a little bit of copper grease and I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit and I'm going to pop it in the hole and I'm gonna start threading. Okay. 
like so. And I'll feel it get tight. Now the torque setting for these is 30 newton meters. There we are. Right. So that is in very nicely, may I say, with a little bit of copper grease on. Now this should never ever rattle loose as such because you're going to have the manifold pushed against it and another nut on. So these shouldn't come loose really. So that's why the copper grease is there. Now that does seem to have gone in a bit further than the others. So I'm going to have to investigate that. Um, but I'm going to see how the others go and then I can always put, take that one back out. Okay everyone, a miracle has happened. All of the bolts went in and they all got torqued down. I was a little bit nervous that some of them might not go in. But this one went in a little bit further than the rest, but other than that, it's fine. Um, and all the others are looking brilliant. So it's time to get the manifold on with the gasket. Let me get it. Okay, so these are all gonna get exactly the same. A tiny bit of copper grease on those, just in case I ever want to take the manifold off as these are renowned for rusting. Um, thank you to the Mercedes-Benz forum. Uh, there's been some pretty good tips on there. And I also got the torque setting from there as well. So if you've got an ML or any car actually, join a forum of those groups because they can be really useful. Because I would have put thread locker on these. So the tip of putting copper grease on, because obviously they're prone to rusting, was a very good tip because I would have never probably got this off again if I put thread locker. So that's a great little tip. Right, let's get that manifold on. So that's going to sit on here like so. Whichever way, that way. Right, there we go. So I'll leave that on. One thing I did forget was the turbo line, which I need to put back in. There we are. Right, slot that on. Right then, turbo manifold, they're on. Now the only thing I have done off camera is just basically put new copper washers and do up both of the oil feed lines to the turbo. It sat really nicely compared to how it was sitting. Um, all the bolts are tight and torqued. We didn't have any slipping. We didn't have any that didn't torque up. So that is brilliant. I was expecting to have one snap or slip. So absolutely over the moon with how this has turned out really, because I thought this was gonna be the, the bit where I was gonna have lots of trouble. But I haven't, so pucker job, and actually skimming the manifold, other than a bit of a workout, it was actually quite easy. So as long as you find yourself a really flat surface and you've got a bit of patience, it's actually quite easy. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed the install of the manifold and turbo. I certainly have. So thank you, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Ooh, don't think I can roll back from that, but...